Good morning, everybody. Today is October 2nd, Monday. It is uh, the beginning of peak week for Jackie and I. Excited. It's been uh, quite a journey so far. Just um, at the moment, though, just wanted to start my day out um, having a cup of coffee right now out by the water. Um, out by our lake, so it's kind of nice just come out here in the morning, watch the sun kind of come up, enjoy our coffee, kind of get my thoughts put together for the day. It's, um, I feel very fortunate to be able to come out and take a look at this beautiful view every single morning if I'd like. Ah, it's much better. Nice little hammock action first thing in the morning. But we are, uh, yeah, I'm not going to show everything uh, for today of our, you know, kind of meals or workouts. I just kind of want to get a little bit of uh, chronicalizing the week and how it goes, a little bit of the process between, uh, you know, difference, differences between Jackie and myself of uh, what we'll each be doing. But, um, yeah, just going to work through the rest of the week, try to take it easy, try not to kind of overdo anything um that's my plan just try not to uh kind of get stressed out or you know get any scenarios where I'm kind of overworking myself getting myself run down because I'll tell you the last few weeks I've been working like a dog around my house and just um you know my job and everything um you know you find yourself kind of having nothing to do during prep other than the monotony of continuing to eat your meals, do your training, trying to stay on point. You know, it's not like you're going out to dinner, um, you know, not doing any fancy, you know, breakfasts Sunday morning or, you know, even being able to go out and kind of get like a, you know, sugary latte is just kind of out of the question or stuff like that. So it's kind of ends up being, you're really to yourself a lot. Luckily, Jackie and I are doing this together. Um, so I find myself doing a lot around the house just to stay busy. You know, I did a ton of work and just probably overdid it, you know, sweated out a little more water and kind of burned through a little more carbs and glycogen that, you know, is quite valuable at the moment. Um, but is what it is. You know, so far I think things are looking good on uh, my end and her end. We're feeling pretty confident. I'm just going to keep polishing up on posing and get through the meals for the peak week which will be a little different as that goes along we'll kind of explain what we're doing but um yeah just gonna finish my coffee go in and get my first meal and uh get off to work Definitely won't be showing every meal for the week, obviously, because that'd be pretty boring. But um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of running a normal medium carb day. Um, I did uh, Saturday a high day, fill out with some carbs. Sunday, medium day. Today's going to be another medium carb day. I'm just really getting carbs around my workout, pretty much carb free and just some added fats and protein um, for the rest of the meals. Um, and then we're gonna, let's see, get into, what is it, Tuesday? Start doing like a baseline diet, add a little bit more carbs. Um, Wednesday, then start carbon up on Thursday. Um, I have it wrong, I'll put it up, but I will put all the meals for what a medium day macros are up top here, so you guys can see that. But um, yeah, I'm just excited to get a pancake because I love my protein pancake and uh, Coach just put fats back in so I can have a little bit of peanut butter. So I'm excited for that. But I'm going to get this first meal going and get the day started.
<clears throat> and we are off. So you guys have seen me do a lot of my videos with uh, what I do at work. I won't bore you today because I'll be doing the pretty much the same boring thing today, making a bunch of topsoil, literally creating dirt to sell. We're gonna go get our coffee. Uh, I remember vividly last time I had a video here, went to go get my coffee. Only thing I was looking forward to that morning and uh, had to settle for a Red Bull because they didn't have any flipping coffee, which better not happen this time. So I'm leaving a little extra early. Red Bulls for emergencies. I did get my coffee right here. Fantastic. These guys sell the best burnt coffee ever. It's god awful, but it's the closest place. And right now it's like heaven to me. <clears throat> so I will take it. I always gotta be wicked careful when I go behind Pauline's. There's this one fucking pothole right there every time. And I spill my coffee first thing all over my cup holders and it drives me crazy. So I've learned my lesson, but I need some of this right now. Could be better. So we are gonna make one quick stop this morning. Um, I'm, I don't have any vitamin C at the house. So a couple reasons, you know, we're six days out. Um, what is it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then Saturday. So yeah, like six days out. Um, but I want to get vitamin C. One, it keeps my, you know, it's supposed to keep your immunity. You know, vitamin C does help you um, boost your immunity a little bit, help you from getting sick, which is obviously the last thing I want right at the moment. Um, but also vitamin C has some diuretic properties for you to kind of help pee out a little bit more water so I'm planning on picking some of that up because I'm all out just saw to do the trick <clears throat> buy one get one so he's 500 milligrams so we'll need two of these a meal we'll just get two since we buy one get one on the meal three we just got vegetables peppers onions broccoli um, zucchini and chicken and a little bit of olive oil so not much for calories but i usually load up on the vegetables they don't really mess with my stomach too much um so i'm gonna get this meal down and then we got uh just a little bit more screening of dirt to do it's been a busy morning um last meal just so busy just ended up eating the loader but is what it is. I'm pretty drained though. At this point, I'm uh, starting to get pretty tired and very irritable and, you know, kind of at the uh, dog days of prep right now, but it'll all be worth it in the end. All right, work's done for the day. Thank goodness. I've just been tired and really, really grinding it out lately. It's been a long year too. I mean, my job, you gotta think, you know, I'm working kind of seven days a week. After after the 4th of July, the business is only open six days a week. But, um, you know, it's still quite a bit of work to do. Um, still work on Sundays myself quite a bit. So it's just spring to fall, nonstop amount of hours and just constant work. So I am at this point a little burned out prep's been burning me out work always burns me out this time of the year so I'm just uh <clears throat> when the end of the days come around it's always nice to just finally close the door go home have some time to myself or better yet we always always go to the gym um so that's the plan now um just had my pre-workout which was only uh only carbs I have for the day is pre-workout and post-workout right now my medium 
on my medium days, they're really low. So it's just, um, oh, what I ended up having was just a little bit of rice, like uh, 30 grams of carbs and rice and the rest in potato. And then um, I actually had some filet, some uh, filet mignon left over. So I put that in for my protein and I had to put a couple pieces of chicken to make a make up for it, make, uh, make sure I had enough protein. And little peppers and onions you know I buy the frozen bags I'll put those in the air fryer with the vegetables too and kind of give those a little um, little heating up a little crisping and put them right across the top of everything for flavor and salt and that's uh that's it so it's good to get some food in uh, I'm gonna muster up enough energy to just get a kind of an easy um, today will be a pull day it's basically push pull leg except for our push we split into chest days and shoulder uh, chest days and shoulder days so but today's gonna be a pull day coach wants me to just move move some weight around just move some blood um, again not tearing muscle apart nothing I got to recover very wildly from keep inflammation down um, and just keep my body feeling fresh but stay in the routine of things um, again, really important to move the blood around, get, strain out the last bit of nutrients from the food into the body. Um, <clears throat> and just finish off strong. You know, uh, uh, we're not there yet on show day, so we still got some work to do a couple more days. And then uh, no training on uh, Friday, Saturday. And then we get right into the show, get right on stage and see, what, uh, see how we shake out. So time to go pick up Jackie. Let's go get Wacko Jacko and uh, go rip some back. So here we are at the spot. Just about to kick off back. Gonna start off with some barbell rows and move into a little bit of uh, T-bar row. A little pull down work after that, throwing some biceps, and uh, yeah, time to get after it. Y'all see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down, locked down, see me fly and never drop down, drop down, smoking high, am I am not round, I'm not round, no denying what I got now, I got now, keep an eye out, keep it locked down. Lock down, get too strong when I battle with the beast, bring a few on The commander and the chief for my crew on Bullets rattling and whistle at your toque Never sleep, eyes open, hands clutching on my throat This a war zone This a war zone Yo, this a motherfucking war zone Yo, 
built this a war zone, homie Say you ready and prepare Take a minute, make them aware Well, I'll be sneaking in the back But it's what the clap, homie, life ain't fair Caught me crawling through the mud Where the vision saw I clearly Born a shepherd to these sheep Make them fear me, this a war zone Trashed out, trap house, nothing ever given Yeah, every day's a blessing Thank the Lord on how I'm living See me riding with my top down No cops round, pedal pressing on the gas I don't think I'll ever stop Hold on. So that's a wrap of uh, back and buys. Um, like four, four back movements in, and uh, I think I only recorded two bicep movements, but it was good. Good a pump, you know. Didn't um, definitely not tearing muscle apart. Again, it's not the goal. So still got some cardio to do. Um, cardio's been good this whole prep. I haven't gone over forty minutes a day. Um, I've done a few times where I'll do like, you know, a little extra walking on my own behalf, but, but other than that, um, coach only put me on the highest was six days at, uh, 40 minutes a session. So not bad. Um, could be much worse of course, but uh, a few times I did like 15, 20 minutes extra averaging like 15,000, no, not 15,000, like 12,000 steps to, uh, 15,000 so it's been um been pretty good pretty easy the diet's been pretty easy i didn't really start getting hungry for um until like the last few weeks you know hunger was low fatigue was high but hunger was low um i do think um the fact that i built a pretty good metabolism into the off season and just keeping myself insulin sensitive is you know, played a big role um, in just making things easy during this crunch time. So, so I'm pretty happy where I'm at. Jackie's just finishing up. She's uh, Energizer Bunny, always doing a little extra, and she probably needs to, but that's all right. She's uh, that's how she's always been. She's getting an extra set of back rows on the side backs. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish up cardio and then uh, head out, get a meal in, relax with Jackie. Maybe do a little posing. We'll see what's up. All right, so before we relax for the night and do a little bit of posing, um, I don't think I've ever shown our little posing room in our gym downstairs, but I'll show you. So this here is our little gym. And we got our cardio we do in the morning, a little squat rack, some cables dumbbells up to I think we got uh, 85s and then we got some uh, dimmable posing lights here and then we got our mirror a couple other little lights we're gonna do a little practice posing real quick just uh, probably just about 15 minutes you know just um, brush up on my routine a little bit because we're getting close, I gotta make sure I'm quite confident um, all the posing can get done uh, correctly. So I know I do do a pretty good job, but I just want to make sure that I'm quite confident in myself, and there's no questioning myself because uh, the confidence will definitely help when you're on stage. Uh, they can see if you definitely look unsure of yourself. But so spend about 15 minutes here, get post workout meal. Relax for the night with Jacko, and uh, then we're on to tomorrow, Tuesday.
All right, dinner time. So we got ourselves uh, some cream of rice and some uh, lean, lean, lean hamburg in the air fryer. And that'll be the last meal. I actually tried um, grinding my own cream of rice this time. So I know buying Pride Foods uh, cream of rice is amazing, really good flavors, but it gets expensive after a while. So um, I saw Chase Irons a long time ago grind just regular rice, you know, just the same consistency in a, you know, Ninja blender and treat it just like cream of rice, put a little Splenda, a little blueberry flavoring in there that's all zero calorie and some frozen blueberries. So that'll be the last meal. It's actually really, really good. Um, so I'm enjoying, going to enjoy trying that more often in case I run out of uh, cream of rice, flavored cream of rice. Um, but let's take a look real quick. There it is. Lean Hamburg, 45 grams of protein. 75 grams of carbs, cream of rice, a little bit of frozen blueberries and cinnamon. Probably gonna put a little uh, sugar-free barbecue sauce on that, sounds good. But um, yeah, last meal. Then gonna get some rest and relax with uh, Jacko and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. All right, day uh, two of peak week, Tuesday is tomorrow. All right, catch you then. Morning everyone, back in the truck as usual, on my way to work, it is Tuesday, this is the uh, peak week right now, so I have to make another quick stop at the grocery store again, I left a little early so I could just uh, pick some things up, so I'm going to do it on my way home before the gym, make it a longer night than I have to, but a little excited, going to lift with Jackie today, got a push session, um, most likely going to be doing uh, chest, we rotate our our push, we do separately like uh, chest on one day and shoulders on the next and split them up, um, so not necessarily push pull legs like I was saying before, but <clears throat> really don't matter actually which one we rotate in right now, so probably going to do some chest and triceps. Then, uh, yeah, we'll bring that to you soon, but I'm gonna stop and get some groceries. So, we are here at Shaw's grocery store where everything is as expensive as F, but they have everything that we need. Gotta get some almond butter, pineapple. Um, gotta check my list. So, pretty quick, easy. Needed some broccoli, some pineapple, get my sugar free syrup. Got some asparagus, Canadian bacon, almond butter, and a little bit of light cream for after the show for coffee. So let's get out of here. I gotta get to work. Almost forgot, can't forget Coke Zero on sale. So we'll load up on those and water enhancers are life. These things are the best. Um, I like all flavors, so it really doesn't matter to me. Raspberry black tea, haven't tried that. Raspberry lemonade, pomegranate, and pineapple mango. Sounds good. Same old, same old. Making dirt, making dirt, selling dirt, playing big pile, little pile. And today we are winning. Just like yesterday, gonna keep the training to a minimum with footage and just trying to give you guys an idea of what these couple days are leading up to the show. And um, we'll probably have another episode for a show day and after, but. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of recording here and there. I'm just really trying to focus right now. But um, I do want to give people a little bit of a glimpse of things here and there. But I start my carb up tomorrow night. So I'll have like my normal day of eating. But right after the gym, that's when I'm going to, that's when everything else starts. So from tomorrow, which is Wednesday, 
until Friday night. I have all my meals already planned for the carb up, and then I have my whole thing written up for actual show day. So, um, yeah, very intricate, ready to go. I'm stoked. I'm not stressed at all. So, yeah, it's fun. a good feeling. All right, well, we'll catch you at the gym. Later. Potato and chicken. A couple of rice cakes and 50 grams of banana. I am actually starving for post workout for once, and we're chilling, watching a little bit of hostile, a little bit of fuan. And yes, that is my new TV. But I might have been spending too much money on prep. And my lovely wife. <laughs> So a little bit of a boring, uh, boring day for you. Um, didn't get much footage, but we got a little bit of training footage. Today's pretty much like yesterday. Um, same diet, pretty much the same uh, routine work. Jackie had her last leg day, which is good, which is interesting. They put uh, you know competitions on Saturday, last leg day on. Tuesday, I guess that's not too bad. Um, she recovers pretty quick, so not a big deal for that. Tomorrow will be another upper body workout for me. I'll be doing some shoulders, a little bit of bicep, then I'll finish up Thursday with a touch up of some back. Um, and that's it. Then Friday off and uh, show on Saturday. You excited, hon? Yeah. I'm ready. Jackie's fucking shredded, let me tell you. My girl's got tiles for abs right now. You shredded. Well, yeah. You can tell I was a fat boy that got shredded. Well, I got the death face going on, that's for sure. But, I'm going to finish this meal. I think we're going to have... Uh, last meal is going to be just protein. Just protein, and I do get to have some added fat, so I'm probably... You're have ice cream? I haven't decided if I'm going to do ice cream or... I'm having ice cream. She's having ice cream. Ice cream with some peanut butter sounds great. I wish I had fats with mine. But then again, uh, my protein pancake is a little more filling. So we'll see how I feel. Especially after I roll a doobie. 
and relax and see how I feel after that. But the beautiful thing about this time of the year is everybody's harvesting. So a lot of free weed being passed around. Thanks our homies out there. Thanks. You and know who you are out there. Right up the street. And the dispensary literally across yeah. the street. Well, not the two streets over. Pretty much uh, like a football field and a half away from us. So, but nonetheless, um, we'll stop talking about being potheads. <laughs> but I'm gonna put this meal down, relax, watch a little podcast or something, and uh, I'll let you know what I decide on next meal. So I ended up going with the ice cream for sure. Now that looks fantastic. So that is protein ice cream. And there are peanuts in there. So seven grams of fat from nuts. Some blueberries. This is going to be heaven for sure. And then bed.